Welcome to Morocco. In today's video, I want to take you with me on a journey where I am going to share how locals here in Morocco are celebrating the end of the Ramadan. Let's go. What's up everybody? My name is Salua. I am a digital nomad and an online business coach and today we are in Morocco. So if you are new to this channel, please consider subscribing for more adventures like this. So today we are actually in a small town in Morocco called Imintanut and this is the town where I was born. It's about two hours south of Marrakesh here in Morocco. And I made the trip here to go see my dad I haven't seen in a long time. And I want to take you in this experience where you can enjoy and see how they celebrate the day after the end of the Ramadan, which we called Eid al-Fitr. And we are going to experience how the local really live it. And I think it's amazing that I can bring this touch of uh, coming from uh, America and Europe uh, so you can see and enjoy this experience with me. So come on in. Okay, so this morning we are in Imintanut, my hometown, and this is the first day of, uh, it's the day after Ramadan. Hadam Simmen, Bagrir, Shnig, Al Halawiyat, Al Gato, Al Gorz, Al Kibda, Al Kibda, Al Khubz, Al Zibda, Marakad, Al Batbo, Atay. And other people today with my dad's car the dogs are mad and we all going to go in the mountains yay all right my people i'm not sure if you can hear me we are now uh in what we call le bled which means it's a place where I come here to see some of my old family members and the house is like right behind me and there's no one here. This is the third meal. So we went from not eating everything during a month to having this as a third meal. So we had the breakfast that was very important the day after. We call it luftor. Then we had um, lunch. That's also very important. And then four o'clock afternoon, we had tea, coffee, with bunch of uh, cookies and everything and uh, we're gonna have dinner again I can tell you I'm so full I've been trying to eat small meals but I just I can't take it anymore and for the puppy lovers we got not sure if you can see them there's two of them that are sleeping are you happy what are you doing Mama Tai is Yeah, she's happy. There's another one there. Yeah. And look at what I just saw. This is a hammam. So it's um, part of the house. It's pretty cool, huh? And yes. This is how it's going. So people go in people's house, like all these people.
The song you just heard, it's something that I was singing. <laughs> it's something we are singing when there's a celebration, mostly like a wedding, so it wasn't really the time, but I thought it was cute to have that. So I'm going to show you a traditional oven. Let's see. So the fire on the left and the bread on the right. And after you, well, you put it here to bake. And, and so the good thing about this is that they are making everything from scratch and then when they cook, and I mentioned here, um, right here, they actually uh, can put a tagine. So if you don't know what a tagine, Google it. <laughs> it's a Moroccan. <laughs> I'm kidding. This is a Moroccan traditional dish where everything is cooked in a sort of a clay dish and then you put fire underneath uh, like this and then it cooks slowly and it's just really delicious and you have tagines of everything uh, but you can also put pans and then cook the bread on top of it and here's for the bacon bread that i just showed you all right uh, look at this beauty look at this beauty Okay, so now we are in a very small village in Morocco, not far from Emin Tanout, and this is actually my grandfather's house. Well, he passed away now and the house is abandoned, but I wanted to show you how the house looks like and give you a little bit of history. So come on in. So the first thing is this room is on purpose has two doors because when it's really hot, they used to let the air go through and this is the room where people used to hang out. And I guess people were really short because I'm 5'7 and this is obviously <laughs> eh, too short for me. <laughs> okay, we are in the court, come on. Voila. Here we are in the court of the house. So most homes in Morocco, especially the ancient ones, have an outdoor court inside the house. Okay, so if you look at the ceiling up there, this is the woods they use for isolation. There's a basic electricity, so we can still put a light bulb up there. Um, but otherwise, very basic. But I hope you enjoy this. This is the traditional old homes here in small villages of Morocco. So let's continue today. Okay, so now we're leaving. And this was my aunt's house on well, my brother's side, on my father's side. It's random people waiting. And this is my dad's car from uh, 1979, I think. This is an old band. That's so funny. He still has it. He has it from before I was born, even. now about 10 p.m. and we have I have to get another dinner I'm just so done of eating but this is part of the holiday the first day after we are <laughs> food overload it's like it's like Thanksgiving in the US so I'm going to show you the last meal of the day and tomorrow we're back to normals with restaurant being open still in lockdown but it's much better than what's going on in europe right now so i'm really happy let's check it out and this is the last dinner Whoa. Whoa. i can see the way to do it is like she has to go really high and you have to make the mousse
Okay, so today we are going to see the house I was born in, in 1983. I've never been here, so for me this is a big deal. So come on. This is the street where I was born in, and my dad that you can see over there is actually going to ring at the people's door to see if we can see the house. I hope they say yes. So come on. Oh, this is the door. And this is the bedroom I was born in. Wow. Yep, welcome to Imitanet. You have no idea how happy I am. I saw the house where I was born in, where I was made in this little village of Morocco. This made my day. We knocked at the door and the lady was nice and she let us in and I took a video and I feel like I can live in peace, leaving Morocco. Thank you. Um, I'm very happy to be back here. I feel very, very disconnected because I've lived in the US for so long and, and I grew up in, in Europe, in Belgium. And now being back here, not knowing anything about this town makes me a little bit confused. But at the same time, I'm really happy to be back here. So thank you for watching my story and let's, let's continue. So today is not so busy because we the day after the end of Ramadan but normally this is like super wild here and if you don't like to eat meat you're gonna be don't watch it my country where I was born 
and we experience how locals and how my family experience Eid al Fitr here in Morocco. So don't forget to subscribe for videos like this and more adventures like this around the world. Thank you. Kisses for Morocco. And if you are new to this channel, please consider subscribing today. Thank you so much for watching. Please do not forget to subscribe. We put a lot of hard work to make those videos for you. I have a free training for you how to start your online business so you too can work from anywhere and I will put the link down below. Lastly, follow me on Instagram at Salwa Ibarin and I'll see you next time.